Okay, tuning first is open G. We have a D note. We have a G note. Followed by a D. Followed by a G. Followed by a B. Followed by a D. So your two E's need to become D notes. And your A needs to go down a whole step to become a G as well. Okay. Now, it's open G, but the lowest note isn't a G. So if you strum from the fifth string down, you have a G chord. Our first note is the open D string. And after that, we're going to pluck the open, we're going to use the, here, the G string as our bass. I'm going to refer to this as the G string, not the A string. And we're going to play the low G with the open D together. Yeah. Okay. Uh, me. Then the bass note is this G string again. And I have some palm muting here, so I'm playing with my hand right here. Getting my palm between the, sorry for hitting that mic, the bridge and the sound hole. And one, and one, two, three, and four. We're in three, four. So then on the second beat, just that open G. And then on the third beat, middle finger is going to play the B, and your thumb will play the G here. On the and, you're going to play with your index finger the original G string, and then back to the low G and the open B. So you get... So far, I haven't even used my left hand. Okay, so here we're going to get it going on the third beat of the second measure for how, and that's your index finger on the original G string. Your ring finger is then going to come down and fret the fifth fret of that G string, which produces a C note. So this is going to imply our C chord. This is sweet, sweet the sound. So after you play that sweet, play the fifth fret again, just the second fret of the D, and then you're going to play and pinch the open D string with the open G, just the open G, and then you're going to pinch again on the third beat, that. So let's play these first four measures. So here we go. One, two, three. So we get up here and we're going to start off, we're going to pinch again, G and G, followed by G, and then middle finger on the B with the G, and index follows up on the other G string. So it's one, two, three, and, and then here we're actually using both our fingers to pinch the B and the G. So with that we get... Then we're going to play the low D and the open high D. Me. This is the high energy part, the highest part. Now you can make this cool D6 chord if you want. And we're going to do just that. We're going to fret second fret on the G string and second fret on the G string. That makes them A notes and a D chord is a D, F sharp, and A. So we're adding the fifth interval there. We're just going to finger pick through that one and two and three, one and two and three. And your bass is going to alternate. Your index finger will play that second fret of the high G and your bass is going to hit the D string and the G string. So you go one and two and three. Then you're going to drop down one and two and three. So those last two measures, nice and slow, would be just like that. So these four measures would sound like this.
Okay, then the next four, and these are maybe the hardest because we have this long stretch. I'm gonna start off, thumb back on the G with that high D, back to the G, and then you're gonna do this move again. But after you play the open high D, and your index grabs the B, it's gonna go down a string and you're gonna pinch G with G together. So you get one, two, three, and four. Pluck it again, and then you're gonna pinch the G with the low D together on the third beat. Once was lost, but this is the hard stretch to articulate because you're gonna get your pinky on the fifth fret and your index on the second fret. Pinky's on the G string, index on the D. You're gonna play that, fifth fret again, then lift it up and play it with the open G and then right back to the second fret on the and. So you get one, two, three, and, and you'll pinch that G in the open D, just the G, and then the G in the open D. So that last measure is just one, two, three. That one's easy. So these three together would sound like this. So these four measures together would sound like this. Very nice. Okay, last four. So we're gonna start off here. Pinch, G and G together, open G, then you're gonna pinch open B with the G, index down to the G, then open low D with the B. Your thumb is gonna bop down to the other D, so your thumb is gonna bounce like that. One, two, index finger, second fret of the G string, and your thumb will come down, and you'll do open G, open G. Two, three, one, two. And then after you finish, one, two, three, one, you would play the G and the D together to start over and play the next verse. So let's play through this whole thing. From the top, I'm gonna go one, two, and we come in on the three, okay? One, two. jump back in right there if you want to. If we want to with this tuning, we can take the melody a whole octave higher as well. Let's take a look at that. Start off with the open high D, then we're gonna play it with the G and the fifth fret. Three, one, two, three, and ninth fret with the open G, seven on the offbeat, so it's three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, one. You go back to nine, your thumb will hit the D, back up here, and then you're gonna play seventh fret of the high D and the open G, and you're gonna bar the fifth fret from the G string down, and you're gonna play with the fifth fret of the high D, and now my bass is alternating. I'll drop down here, then I'm gonna come back up, and I'm gonna play fifth fret of the B string and fifth fret of the new G together to seventh fret of the old G with the open G. So from the top you would get Next four measures. Okay, then we get up here, we're gonna play five with the open G. Drop down bass up to nine. We do this cool nine, 
eight on the B, back up to nine move. Nine, hammer to nine, up to 12 with the open low D. Very cool, right? So we get. Just gonna vamp on that for a while. And then you're gonna pluck nine again on the third beat. Back up to 12, but this time with the G. And 12 over to the B down here to fifth fret of the D, the high D with the open G. So that first measure, then again, would be 12 open D, G again, and then you go 12, 12 on the off beat, down to five in the open G, and then you're gonna go three in the open G into this bar where you're playing fifth fret of the B and the fifth fret of the G. Which is a cool move here. You go do do and then open open. And here with the bass, when I'm dropping down to the D, you can do that if you like the motion, or you can just stay on the G. All right? It doesn't really matter. So these four measures would be one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Already right, the last four. They would sound like this. So we're doing fifth fret here with the open, do, do, nine and eight, that move again. Back to nine, but this time with the open low D. And then we're gonna go bounce to the D and then seven. And then we're gonna resolve, this is a G note here with the G. And if you wanted to finish there, you could one, two, three, one. Keep your finger on that one and just strum from the G down. So let's put these four together. Or let's put this whole thing together from the top. Here we go with this one. And that's what it sounds like with the higher melody. So now you got two ways to play it, and they also sound great when you play them together.